Welcome to Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxFresh.com. I'm Ref Nicholson. The semifinal rounds of the 2014 Peggy Whitley Classic is a great matchup of two of the top teams in Texas. Both teams are ranked in the top 10 in the state and have all the talent to make a trip to Austin in February. It's the defending Region 3 champions, the Lady Chargers of Clear Springs, taking on the Lady Wildcats of Cy Woods. The Lady Wildcats are the number three ranked team in Texas, thanks to great all-around team play, physical defense, and the sharp shooting of junior Erica Bumate. We're in the first quarter, and these two teams are going at it like a pair of heavyweight fighters, both willing to trade punches while looking for an early knockout. A minute 30 left in the second quarter. Clear Springs is up 31-28. Abumake gets the steal. She goes coast to coast, off the glass for two. Paige Tippett's shot is long, and Tyler Davis comes down with it. Erica Abumake spots up for three, count it. Cy Woods goes into the half up 36-31. Now in the third quarter. Traditionally, it's Clear Springs that wants to play an up-tempo game, but the Lady Wildcats are looking to run every chance they get. Two of the best go head-to-head. -head. Brooke McCarty with the crossover dribble. The look off, the scoop, and the score. Yes, she's that good, and so is this young lady. Erica Bumake with a pull-up jumper for three. That's all day. Brooke McCarty is one of, if not the best point guard in the state. She's averaging 25 points a game, four steals, and five assists. But it's her toughness that stands out on the floor. She has the ability to take over the game at any time. Wood's game plan is simple. Keep running, keep scoring, and keep the ball in the hands of Abumake. She knocks down another three. The Lady Wildcats now lead by nine, 51-42. McCarty from NBA range, all net. Sierra Cheatham with the catch and the score. Back-to-back -back threes. Cy Woods goes inside to Olivia Abumake, and she delivers. One of the most overlooked players on the Cy Woods team is junior point guard Tatiana Perez. She's a great ball handler, and she can do this. Pull-up jumper for two. Perez gets the runner, and the Lady Wildcats now lead 56-53 with five minutes left in the game. This is when things get a little crazy. Tip it for three. Olivia Abumake answers with a two. McCarty gets the steal. She stays in bound and gets an easy layup for two. A good no foul by Abumake. Springs now down by four. They get a turnover, but Tippett is called for steps. Coach Pam Crawford's reaction, priceless. Tippett comes back and gets another steal. She gets it ahead to McCarty. She gets the basket and a trip to the free throw line. The Lady Chargers are now down by two with less than a minute to play. Make that down by one. The Springs goes for a steal. They try to get the timeout, but the referee calls it a jump ball. The fans are not happy. The possession arrow favors Cy Woods. The Lady Wildcats are able to hold on and take this game 67 to 64. They move on to the championship game where they will face the winner of the Manville North Shore game. I'm Raph Nickerson, and thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com.